G'day team, Luke here from Big Game Small Pieces, and tonight my daughter is joining me. How are you doing, Intia? Great. Now, we're going to go through this that just arrived today in the mail. They are the Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft Booster Boxes, and we've got two bricks here, plus the promos to go have a look at them as well. Yeah! So my daughter last time did this with me when we opened up the Avernus. Um... Uh, Boost bricks, but uh, we're now on the, to the Van Richtens because I didn't really feel like buying whole bricks of everything. But Van Richtens has got me interested to give that a go. So let's get out and have a look and see what we get. Pop that. Okay, let's open it up and take a look what we got. Can I get the big one? Can you bring all that? Can you help me? You have to. Alright, box number one. It is. Uh, Box number one. Let's see. <laughs> right, you going to start pulling them out? Pull we'll get in. to the big ones soon. You're going to open these? Let's have a look. What do we get? I thought, I What's just, there? Uh, I thought there was just bubble wrap surrounding that one. <laughs> I know. He's in a little plastic <laughs> box. And we can see what he is. I have no idea. I have no idea what What do we get? Okay, so what do we get? I have no idea what we have got. And yet, what? It is a Nosferatu. Bubble wrap! 11 of 53. Look at that. What do you think of him? I have no idea, but it looks like a zombie. Looks like a zombie. Well, he right here is an undead. Look at his raggedy clothes. Yeah. They, they look all right, actually. His body's got some sculpting on there. The clothes are all over. His mouth's a little tricky to see what happens. I think it's his, his jaws open and his tongue's out. Looks like to me. It looks just... like he has a little bit of blood there. Yeah, well, he's a vampire. Bloodbeard. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so bloodbeard. And daddy. Oh, oh, carrion crawler. I think that one is. That's number, uh, yeah, carrion crawler number three. So I've got, to, I've got to catch the light with my eyes. He's a tiny little, what do you, what do you think he looks like? Um, he looks like um, a fish, a weird fish with claws. A weird fish with claws. Well, he certainly is a little thing, isn't he? Yes. It's a nice colour. The shadings. I do like the colour of the blue and the uh, and bit of the pinky tip. Yeah, the little purple tips I, I see them as. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, they are very nice. Yeah, so very I'll pop cool. this over Karen here. Crawl. And What's that one? I got like this. Ooh, that looks like Erasm uh, what's what you say? Erasmus? Uh, Erasmus, yeah. The Ghost of Erasmus. Number uh, 17. That's Van Richten's son. He's pretty good. Daddy, can I try to open this bit? Yeah, well, he's tied in there, so you got to unlatch him. Okay. You so happy that you spoke to me, please? I was keen. Good to know I got one. How'd we go? Well, this is really heavy, so it's a bit hard for me to lift. Yep. But oh what is gosh, it? It looks like it's, it's like a big, a big, um, thing. Full of like skulls and blood. Yeah, it's a lot of little skeletons and bodies. Yeah, it's a corpse. It looks like it's collecting um lots what? of lots of um blood and skulls, so then it can get bigger and bigger and bigger. Yes, yeah, so there's a whole one in there. Yeah. You see it all pulled it's together cool. around the back, down the bottom. is big lot of corpses all smashed together. It's really cool. A lot but, of weight in it. Yeah, but we just so going... you pick him, so you find him. He's solid. Yeah, he's really heavy. Number 27. Oh, God, this is heavy. All right. Well, that's the first one. That's pretty good. It was the heavy one, so we knew we were on for a win there. Getting a lot out of a heavy one. Okay, let me just move these. They were here. Out of the camera? Okay. Just want to move them. There you are, sweetie. Thank Box you. Box number two. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Okay. Right it. Okay. Oh, this is a really small one. But first, let's get through these. Okay. Look how small that one is. Yeah, yeah. I think they've got to make them all big because they've got that one big one. And if you just saw the one box that was big and the rest were small, you'd know that what that box has in it, wouldn't you? Yeah. But the weight definitely gives it away. You can easily tell which one. Yes. <laughs> what have you got? <laughs> oh, looks like a big sturge. It is. No! Five of 53. And there's the sturge. Sturge? Sturge joy? Sturge joy. Sturge joy. <laughs> Popping lots of bubbles. The wings are pretty solid. I've had a problem with wings on a few things lately. They feel like they're attached. 
His ankles, legs, and feet keeps him fairly firm. His face. They missed an eye there. I can see the white dot all the way up on top of his brow, not down on the bottom where the other one is. So they've, they've, they've kind of missed there a bit. But the light shading on the back of the wings looks nice. Yeah. Um, it's a good little touch. Uh, the claws are done. That's pretty slap. As the clothes are pretty bland. It's a little bit of... No, the wings look really good. The wings, actually, the, the wings look nice. They've even got... Good job on the wings. Looks like my favourite girl for all of this. Your favourite girl for all this? It looks like a vampiric Tatiana. Oh, no idea. It is. Number 14, a vampiric Tatiana. She's a little weak at the ankles, unlike that other one. I like her, her dress, though. Yeah, it's really pretty. Yeah, and um, yeah, the face actually has black lips and a white teeth, so uh, that's quite fine looks, for these models. It looks really cool on um, the nail polish, like, they, yeah. really, they must be a really good painter to oh, do that. Oh, pretty good, do the yeah. nail, do get the claws. What's that on her shoulder, like a, a fur? I think or it's a... like mostly just like a, one of those fashion things on her shoulder. A fashion um, thing? Yeah, I don't know what's called. Okay, fashion thing. And this is the other one that I had, and this is the Bagman. And uh, this is number two of uh, 33. And yeah, he's looking pretty naked. Just a grey body, elongated fingers. One foot in the grave, one leg in the bag. And he's Blair Witch-like hair hanging over the front, or her front. Um, I can see ribs. I can see a few things there. It doesn't look too bad. Nice job. That hand is not attached, whereas that neither is that one actually. That's so it's just been held in by his body and hips and legs, and that's that's pretty good actually. Ooh, I can see with it's secure. Nice, nice bag. What do we get? I can't open it. Yeah, you got to be careful those ones. See, how you got the yeah thumb bits. Big card. Okay, uh, we uh, relentless killer. Can we put... try this to the side? You this? sure can. Throw it. Yeah. Now, the relentless killer. What do you think about him? What, what sort of weapons he got? Well, he got like, um, like, kind of like a uh, sparrow axe. Like, his, his axe kind of, well, axe picker or whatever. Um, it kind of looks like a sparrow head with a long beak. Oh, yeah, um... yeah. So you see the eye and the long beak? Yeah, there? yeah, yeah. Very nice. Just like his mask he has. Yeah. It's so cool. He's a big muscly man. It's like a warrior or something. Like, it, like, defends a gate or something. Oh, yes. Uh, a guardian of sorts. Yes. Or a... Uh, I think this guy's a bad guy, though. Yeah, me too. A relentless think killer? Doesn't sound like a good person. Yeah, it does not. Seriously. He's it? solid enough. Yeah, his ankles, once again, are strong. They've given him a large, clear base. Which is, uh, I think... Clear might be a slightly better way of going. All these are about clear bases, and uh, it might be a slightly better way because then you can see the map that you're putting them on. You don't have to. That actually, I guess personally, I come from black bases, and just that's what you get. But clear bases, you put that on your. It's not too bad. I wonder what you'd have to do to rough it up to get some things stuck on it. But uh, pretty good. I like his little greaves, his little shin guards, their little uh, spike shin guards. Yeah. Okay, let's just pop Who's this. your favourite so far? Um, I think it's the girl. Vampiric Tatiana? Yeah. She looks really good. Okay, okay. can I do Drag it up. Alright, what do we get? Okay, first let's look through this one. Alright. Ooh, this one has... I have no idea how much. Ooh, I think that's a rare one. I think this might be one of the Dark Lords. <laughs> I'm just going to break it. Uh, so what I've got here is uh, Maharani uh, Ramya. Maharani Ramya. I reckon she's one of the Dark Lords from one of the uh, ankle support. Once again, the, the knees and things, is that's where your flex is. The armor's good. I love the little... The icon on the shield's pretty good. Same with the chest. That looked... Uh, that was put on... Different compared to the rest. The uh, you got a headless one. I think that's what you're playing with there. 
two heads. Two heads. I think that's got to do with this one coming out here. Put them aside and open, put them aside and open up the other one. We'll get to that one shortly. I'll just um. The purple and gold's a good look. Uh, her face has eyes, lips painted. Uh, so they've gone to a good quality on these. You can see why the price has gone up on these things. They're, I mean, it, it, it's kind of like a standard paint for most people, but uh, yeah, for a mass product, you can see why they they're asking for a bit more. Mm-hmm. All right, she's pretty cool. What else? What's our next one? Um, well, I well, I'm so excited about her heads for first. I want to look through these. Ones. Okay. What'd you get? Well, I got this guy with a sword teeth. Well, What's he, he look like? He kind of looks like um Harry Potter because she has like <laughs> it kind of because the black jacket and it this kind of looks like a wand. Okay, I don't think he's Harry Potter. He's Arthur Sedgwick. And uh, I think he's another one of the uh, less common ones. That looks like the sheath of the sword he's holding up, and then his short sword or such in his other hand. The buttons are all done up on the clasps, or done on his jacket. I can even see a tie painted in there. Uh, I can see the f looks like the fly of his pants. There's crinkles, there's cut li there's lines, there's. It's all pretty good. Where are you going, sweetie? Oh, this is you so dropped cool. a head? Oh, okay, get it up here. He's got eyebrows, eyes, pupils, white mouth, white tea. I, they're, they're doing more than what they've done previously. Hand blends in there nicely. Not seeing, I can see a bit of a mold line there on his pant leg. He's pretty good. And I also pulled out a skeleton archer. It looks like he's been folded. Folded a fair bit. I wonder how, he, how he's going to straighten. Straighten. And I, um, I'm going to throw these. I'm okay. wondering if you could move that away. Skeleton Archer, number six. Yeah. Uh, oh, his bow's kind of cool. He's shooting not the side I'd have put the arrow, but I guess it's a strength thing potentially. I'm not an archer. Quiver looks good. He's got a number of colours going on in it, and his clothes have bands and stripes in it, which are good. You can see some mold lining here on his uh, legs and such, but uh, he's not too bad. It'll fold it over. I wonder if a little bit of hot water might uh, square him up. But, uh, pretty good. Now this is our first skeleton. Uh, what's this? Headless. Um, the creature of uh, the headless monster, number 29. All right, what do you think about the, the body? I think it kind of looks like a lifeguard suit. A lifeguard suit? Mm, Look know. at his legs. What type of legs are they? They're animal legs. Yeah. Well, he's got a nice a little belt with a buckle on it. He's got a bandolier with a couple of pouches. They're all coloured. Mm -hmm. His fingernails are coloured. He's uh, mm -hmm. got a little spot. So let's see. <laughs> what does a head go in there? Ooh. Do you want me to do it? Oh, I don't want to break it. Do you mm. want me to do it? How about this one? Well, it goes in a little easier. You can see a band around his neck, so yeah, it's, uh, heads can come on and off. Yeah. Just got to be careful with them, because I think if you snapped the little uh, tab in there, you'd have very difficult getting it out. You'd just end up gluing that head back on. Be careful with it. I can pull it out. Oh, oh, come on, oh. Daddy. Oh, come on. Come on, Daddy. <gasps> What do you got? Hey! Hey, yourself. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, I got this clay oh, one. Oh, the wax. Yeah. The wax man. What melted wax? He's a. Oh, jeez. The uh, wax replica, number four. Yeah, right. That's. That's a pretty rough going. Uh, did you get. Dry brush? No. I did. Uh, the eyes, look how good those eyes are. Yeah, they're really good. And the beard. Or is that beard? I think it's a melting face. Mm. But the eyes and eyebrows, the eyes even look like they're little stickers stuck on, but they are so precise. Whoa, it's really hard to stare into that. His tie and then his melting clothes. It's not too bad. That first one of them. Ooh, is it the Grim. Uh, Grimishka. Grimishka from, uh, ooh, which world are they from? I think they might be from Haslam. Uh, Grimishka. He's, he's pretty good. 
Missing eyes. Oh, maybe it's got them. There's, do you see eyes? Little yellow dots in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's There's, got some little tiny eyes. It looks like um, um, he's chewing a dog bone. It does look like he's chewing on it. Do you think it's a dog bone? Yes. I got What's that. this one? Oh, Dr. Morton thing? Uh, yeah, Dr. Victor Mordenhay. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, or oh, some of her face colouring has gone into her hair. So Perfect. I might have to see how the, the skin colour has gone into her hair. I might have to bring that down. Although her eyes seem to be deep set into... So it gives her like she's got panda, reverse panda eyes. Yeah. And lipstick. So I don't know what they've done there that covering over the face seems a little bit off the tools in the front belt pouch and the extra weight you can see this is good although that arm in front of the uh the uh the apron there you can see how they've they've, they've, they've it's not a very clean line there between the apron and the arm they kind of blend together and doesn't look yeah. as nice uh, back's fine she's reasonably stable uh feels about as stable as any others there and yeah, so I might, I might touch her up a bit. I'm not. Uh, I think yeah. I'm definitely have to at least have a crack at the face and that uh, bit there at the front. Uh, yeah. The rest. And guys, not why too is bad. Number twenty four. I don't know. Let's get rid of it. What have you got there? What's the final one? Well, I got this like deer monster. Deer monster. Kind of like a deer. Yeah, look on the bottom there. Number thirty two. The manifestation. Uh, la, Laro. Oh. Laris. Someone's gonna correct me on that. Oh, no, yeah, no. He's, about as, he's about as stable as any other, considering his his hind legs. I can see mold lines uh, on here, the bottom outside of his that line where there. Where is he? That's where they joined the model together to make it, or oh, the mold sealed around there, and that's what a little bit of snuck out. He's got a little bit of dry brushing on him. Yeah, to give him a lighter textures around. You can see another mold line up around the arm there. And he's got his eyes and his teeth painted. Tips of his claws are painted. Um, that Reasonable is. detail on the body. What do you think? What would you think? He, what would he his name be? I don't know. Um, I I out of all, I still think this one is the best. Is that the, one's still the best? Yeah, I, I still think it's All right, we'll see what this box has to Okay, let's show you. Okay. 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 okay, here you, here you go, Daddy. What's the beast? Here you go. Okay, okay. Pop them down. Oh, I think this might be our second one, Dad. No, I think that's a... Oh, that's a dish. That's definitely a second one. How about this lady? What do you reckon of her? Have a look at her. Mmm. I'm still rocking the girl. Really? You you <laughs> like uh, Tatiana? You don't think the uh, Chakuna number nah. thirty four? Nah. Yeah, well, she's got a basic dress on and then an under skirt going as well. It looks like she's carrying a bear trap. Got an interesting looking curved blade, red across the eyes, and a tattooed on the arm. I think she looks all right. A little bit of a mold line there at the rear and at the front. That's a bit of a shame. Yeah, it blends. I can see glue. And yeah, so they've just quickly sucked that on over there. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. Not great. We've got another one. Another on melty dude, huh? Yeah. I'm just going to pop this here. Pop him there. So two of them. Ooh. That's the first one on Wow. That is the first one. That's number 16. That's uh, Mother Lorinda. <laughs> Interesting how they've got her hair and she's cradling, could be anything, a doll. Could look like almost a beggar to a degree. Wow. Simple colour scheme, although her arm at the rear is brown. Same with a bit of her arm there. So potentially a little bit of light touching over yeah. that. Hands are all right. The mold lanes are not bad. I can't really see major mold lines. The feet and hands are what you expect. Yeah, that doll. Really missed a lot of detail, so she's not too bad. Oh, this one's the keeper of the... Uh, she runs the, the carnival. Iola? Uh, uh, I saw... 
I sold. He sold. Number 44. Um, yeah, tried to put the uh, caravan in my campaign, and the group didn't take to it. They had enough quests, they were, they were done getting quests. Alright, so that sword is free. The headband looks good. The ears are tied in nicely. Wait, can I see the, the... headband? Check her out. But this this next one is really oily. Yeah, oily really. Yeah, I feel the bottom. It feels oily, does it? Oh, well, Benny just must have picked that up when it was in the factory. Yeah. The buckle's done, the, the brown over top of it, there's a little bit of highlighting on the boots. No major mold lines. She's very soft, uh, very flexible. Her boot isn't even completely down. But her eyes, like I even see the white pupils and the, the red on her lips, so... The white top and the silver necklace, the little bits. She's cool. I can see people wanting to play that character uh, as a normal play, not just their. Uh, I'm yeah. bad. So what have you got there? Um, I'm not sure what it is, but so far I'm really happy how we're, what we're doing because I haven't been doing this for since for a long time. Mm, this is a displacer beast. What? Number thirty-five. I was hoping to get a displacer beast. Displacer beasts can step in, in and out of the world. They come and go. What? Yeah, so they'll be there, then all of a sudden they'll disappear, and you won't be able to say phase in and out. <laughs> Them and blink dogs. Awesome. <laughs> That's a big kitty. That's a big. Very nice. Ooh. Um, are those um electrical tentacle? Electrical tentacles. No, I don't think they're electrical, but they are a touch attack. Guys, <laughs> what? Oh. What's going on with this one? There is no framework for it. It's just loose. What? Mini. What? Okay, so it's just loose minis. All right. Well, these look like the ghost characters. One, awesome. three, and I'm getting far. Oh wow, well, there's lots of them. Oh, there is a lot. There's no huge. They've given us an excessive amount of normal minis. Which one? Hey, you got? look what I got. I got oh, another, another bag one. Yeah, okay, I'll just put this here. Down there. I've got uh, the gouged eye thug. That's a female standing there with what looks to be a long uh, cigarette. Wait, what cigarette? Uh. With weeping eyes, it looks like. She's not Quentin? bad. She's just a ghostly version. Ooh. What do you reckon? Which one did you get? I got this one. Oh, a man standing there pointing his finger. So, we've got Lord jo Jeffrey, or jo Godfrey, George Godfrey, number 49. I would assume these guys blend into the extra little adventure you can have in the back of the Henrichtons. Yeah. Mm, he's not too bad. It's just a good mm, see a couple little minor mould lines. Not occurring, really. It's just the, the plastic, potentially a very light wash in a few spots. Hey, that little, what else he's got? got some dark I guess he's got a chain. Hmm. He's a chain thug, number 51. Stable, a lot more stable than stuff plastic. Uh, the chains, though, aren't too bad. Hopefully they yeah, last. Hopefully. Wearing a little top hat. Is that some side levers? It sure is. Oh, no, that's just his hair and moustache. Uh, the details aren't too bad. you got to look closely on this so it's all see-through and you'll make it out. And he's got a light wash put upon him. He isn't too bad. I got what crocodile you? head mummy. Crocodile headed mummy. Yeah. The crocodile headed mummy, number eight. Crocodile headed mummy. Ooh, not very stable. Legs are pretty thin. I can see the mold line going all up his side. Though the bandages are somewhat detailed. The crocodile face has probably just been glued into it, but looks good. I mean, the tongue. Is separate to the rest. The teeth are adequately painted. The eyes are well done with the tiniest of little black slits. Blades. Yeah, it's, he's looking pretty good, that guy. Vampiric Mind Flare. I've been looking at running the Thoughts in Dark and Thoughts of Darkness. Uh, second edition Mind Flare campaign about um, Vampiric Mind Flayers. Number 22. A few mold lines going all the way down. He's in there. 
all his tentacle face. No, he's not too bad. Look at that. You can see his eyes. They're all painted in each of his spikes and his or his teeth inside his tentacles. Daddy, I got another ghost all... one. You got another ghost one? What's the other? What's the next ghost one? What is it? Yeah. Oh, I think it's a different one. That is the split skull thug. Oh yeah, he could have a split in his skull. You've <laughs> got to be looking for it. There it is. Is he brain? Yeah. I think I can see brains in there. He's had his skull split. Oh, well, he's not too bad. He's a little bit more rigid than the other plastics. So this this uh, transparent plastic's a little bit more tougher. Uh, what do you reckon about it? I have no idea. You got no. I'm just trying to do this well so we have some more room. Oh, we need more, do we? Yeah. Okay, well, no, two more. boxes to go. This is box number seven. Oh. Rip her open there, girl. I'm just going to move it. I'm going to do it. Um, yes, please, because I need a bit Oh my god. That's what I wanted. What? <gasps> okay, well, open that last box first. Okay. First, I'll give you some and I'll have some oh, of my this own. looks like. Yes. Here you go, Dan. Boneless, number 13. That's... Question? Boneless, he's got no bones. Oh god. That's creepy. Well, they kept the black in his eyes. They've got a nice wash over top of the whole loosey goosey body. He's really bloody inside, so someone's opened him up. Yeah. It looks like he, he, his rib is right there in his yeah, armpit. Yeah, it's a shame he's got that mold line right above his face there. He's an interesting little guy. What's that? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. You're not sure? What's he look like? Ah, a werewolf? He does look like a werewolf, but he's one of their powerful ones, like a Loop Gal Garu. Oh, this one. Tell me how to say it, Loop Garu. Oh, no. He looks pretty good. He's got a little bit of highlight done in oh, yeah. his hair. His eyes have been done, and he's got pupils, so uh, they've they've gotten in on that. He's sturdier than a lot of them, having three points of contact and being a pretty solid mini. And he is going to tear my party apart, I reckon. What do you got? Is that it's a whistling like, thing? It's like a black skeleton um, collecting hearts. A black skeleton collecting hearts. Is that scary? Mm, maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's scary. What uh, if, is it the, might uh... be scary for young ones, so people, so young ones should not be watching this. He's a whistling thing, number 18. 53. And uh, oh, his spear's even planted onto it, although it doesn't really fit well. But yeah, it does look like he's got a heart. You can see all those ribs there. You can see all his sinew and muscle. It's hanging off him. His tail's free of his body. His arm is free. And he's got a very creepy face on him. I think he's very good. Very. Dad, you going to get the one that you wanted? I am. Can I get enough of them to fill a whole temple? I think not. Amber monolith. The amber monolith number Dad, twenty-eight. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question. Why do you want to have that one so much? Well, I've ran Curse of Strahd before, and the one thing I was missing was a little amber rock to go in there to represent the amber sarcophagus that all the dark powers were in. So now I've got one. And it can even be sitting there at them, then it can reach out for them. So, so that's kind of good. So now you can play that game finally. Can you see something inside of there? If you uh, look closely, what's in there? I have no idea. Oh, that's cool. Maybe the thing on the Solid. I have no idea. The arms have enough flex. This kind of looks like, um, that kind of looks like a crystal brain. Crystal brain, you reckon? Yeah, I know. It looks like um, it looks like a crystal, but it also looks like a brain. So, in sort of the swirls. I wonder if you're going to get another one in the pack. No. It's another one of just multiples, not a no huge mini in there. Oh, that one looked good. But this one looks like Mordenhain's loving partner. Yep, it is Elise Mordenheim's beloved, twenty-one of fifty-three, and just oh, let's see a mold line wrap down her cloak. The folds look good. The shading's very nice. Uh, the back of the arm. Okay. 
Even under their neck, looks like she's got that glowing piece of her. Look closely. Even under her neck there. And her eyes look good. There's got pupils and whites. And she's solid enough. A lot of the time they put their, pick these stances that are action shots, but they're they're just prone to snapping and breaking things. What did you get there? Um, uh, this is, um, it's legs not really that good right here because they're really movie. They're not good plastic. Mm, yeah, they could be okay. But in other ways, um, it looks like, um, it's, um, there's a leafy bear carrying a zombie, a zombie around when it's trying to go to sleep. Yeah. Who does that zombie look like? I have no idea. Well, pickle Rick. Look like Rick, Uncle Rick. Oh yeah, Pickle Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan Delisnia, number uh, 31, in his little casket here, getting shuffled around. Yeah, he's pretty good. The face, it looks like Rick from Rick and Morty. <laughs> it's the blue hair that pulls back. It's the uh, the white eyes, the, the open mouth like he's burping. The colour of his skin, he <laughs> looks just like, uh, looks like Rick. Rick and Morty. Oh, I like him. I'm going to see if I can find a way. Finally, finally, a were-raven. I've been playing this whole Curse of Strike campaign. and I've having to look at uh, Kenku, but I've finally got a were-raven. All right, so this particular one, we've got uh, uh, Ivan Delisnia and a were-raven. The wings are nice. Look at the detail yeah. on the wings. So... It really looks like a real raven. A mm. real raven. Ugh. White beady eyes, a little notches for the nose. The Ooh. cloak and jacket is quite nice. Hey, Dad. He is pretty bendy because on those thin little bird legs. Um, Daddy, yes. um, this one might be a bit creepy. Might be a bit creepy? Which one's that one? That's... <laughs> It's the Chinese vampire. It's the uh, Jingxi. Ten. Oh, look at his face. That's a mess. That's just a blob. <laughs> For all the others they've done, that is just a mess. Look at it. They've gone into his hairline. They've gone down onto his neck. They've just blended it all in as one. Yeah, it does not look nice. That's just a big... I mean, it's good that he's bit, his cloak's billowing because he's jumping and, and landing and sort of thing. That's how they they, how they, they, they hop around. Uh, we love much Mummy's vampire movies. But, uh... Yeah, it's a shame. That face is just a, dis, just a disappointment. I'll, I'll have that up there for you guys to see as well. This one kind of looks like Katie, Katy Perry, um, except Katie. for this... Except for the skin, it kind of looks like Katy Perry. That's Katy Perry. All right, so uh, like Ivana Bo Boritzi. Boritzi. Um, number 30. It kind of looks like Katy Perry. I like what they've done with the cross pattern there. It's just a print. So they've, they've, they've put a little template and sprayed it's that really, on. Um, Dad, it's really cool how she, they did a cup. Yeah, she's drinking some wine. What do you think she's drinking? Uh, Red wine. Yeah, there's a bit of skin colouring that's gone into her hair there. Her face, they've got to try to put a lot of detail in. They've got eyebrows, think... eyes and pupils. They've got think... side bits of hair. They've got oh, they've got a necklace. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, but it's just a bit of a shame because how messy over here. Yeah, they've just messed that up a little bit. Hopefully that was just our copy and other people's looks a little nicer than that. Either way, that should be a pretty easy fix. Yeah. Black's pretty common. I've got a bit of black. I'll put this over here. Are you ready? This yeah. is number one, box two, or box nine, depending on how you count them. Mm. Here you are, darling. I got one. Oh, what's that? I got one. What the? This is the next heavy one. We'll do another heavy one after that. Get all the heavy ones done. Here you go, Daddy. I'll get this one. Ooh, I think that's the ghost dancer. I've got. Dad, after we'll open this one together. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the ghost dancer number nine. Oh, and Dad, I'm it's a... pretty fragile. Ben's easy. Oh, and Dad, I got another one. Another vampiric mind flare. Well, he's all right, but this ghost dancer. What do you reckon of her? Is she pretty? Um, yeah, she's a little pretty, but I still prefer her. Oh, really? Tatiana. Vampiric Tatiana is still the winner. Yeah, she's has like hair kind of like me. Fire's a bit. Mm, just a bit monotone, the fire. 
Uh, dress is reasonable. It's a nice performer. I think she's remembering she's a performer. Got mold lines on her there that uh, really threw away. Okay, really. What's that one? Okay, so I'm going to try her. Oh, we got that one before? Yep, we got this one before. Do you remember what I called it? I'm not even yet. I know, I know. <laughs> sure. What do I call it? Carrying crawl? Another carrying crawl. Two carrying crawls now. One per brick or what? No, no, just what if stop. there's another one in the next box? What if there is? But that I don't have it yet. <gasps> Wait. Not as heavy as that one. I'm hoping it's the body snatch plane. Oh, I think it might not be anything. I think it would just be mini miniatures. We Whoa. got another one. Oh, how many of those are going to attack the group now on, on Friday night, huh? Oh, I have no idea. No you idea. Guys. That can, yeah. can do the flying spaceship. <laughs> sure can. Okay, so... Right, oh, one. I have no... Doesn't it have... <laughs> give me, give me. Give oh, me. but it is. I think I know what that is. Okay. You might be excited with that one. I'm gonna open this looks one. like one of those little gremlins again. Oh, yeah, like it weird. is. It is. It's another one of those. Um, Grimiska. We um, couldn't use the word gremlin, so we use Grimiska. Um, Daddy, um, hopefully this one will be much more better. Oh, all right. Well, here's another uh, Chinese vampire. What's uh, the face look like? It's blended again. Yeah, uh, so that, yeah, there's a good chance. They're all going to look like that then. Well, that's a bit disappointing. It, uh, they did such a good job on some of the other ones, and then just... Daddy, I can't ready? The makeup gun. I'm ready. Uh, Lay it on me. What do you got there? I have no idea what it is. But I think you might be a bit happy about it. I will be a bit happy about it. I don't, we haven't got that one yet, so I'm going to be very happy. Can I go into my plants? It will be really cool, but I might need a little bit of help. Thanks, Daddy. What do you reckon it is? Oh, so it's drooling on its eye, it looks like. It's got multiple eyes, and it's drooling on its eyes. Yeah, and, and it got the person inside. Is it a person? I think it's the plant person inside. Is the plant person coming out, or is it someone going in? I think it's the plant... Oh, it could be either. So this is the body taker plant. It takes bodies. Number 33. What? Oh, is it because these it's snatching it off, trying to get out? Could be. Yeah, it's a shame they didn't make one of these enough. A little bit more hooked in a way that you knew you could slot a person in there. You have to work him in there. What do you reckon? Yeah, but the... What would you do if your character was in there? Um, I would just mostly you're gonna, um, you're gonna get if, eaten decide quick if i was a sorcerer i was just cannonball it in the eye oh you cannonball it in the eye <laughs> good choice i would if i could and what if you weren't a sorcerer what else you got i if i was an elf i would just slingshot it in the eye oh okay another whistling fiend yeah quality still pretty good looking yeah! very loud sweetie very loud <laughs> All right, that's two down. I'm going to get this. Come on. Well, I need a few. I thought it was one of those. Yeah, well. By the black. Okay. Ooh, that is different. Do you see the body inside of there? Which one? You, you, you've got a, another boneless. Classy. So we've, we've seen the boneless before. Um, it kind of looks really hmm. cool, like red kind of transparent. What's in there? It's like a red kind of transparent, like a soul. Well, that is the... Nekarika. What's uh, that? It's number 20. What's that? Oh. Like, what does it do? It's a demon-filled blood acre. Or a fiend-filled blood acre. Oh, uh, we got enough one of them. Another Sturgio? Sturgio. It's, I'm gonna call you Sturgio. Like it's kind. Of, you kind of said that like Mario. Mm -hmm. I think we've got this one before. Yeah, we did. Oh, she's bent. Um, bend her back up. She come good. All right. Another uh, Chakuna. Yeah. That's all right. Okay. She okay? And another Displacer Beast. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm happy to have just another Displacer Beast. The bloody Can you get this good. out of here? 
Number four. We're halfway through the second lot now. Four left. So there must be eight in the packet. Yes, there was eight in a, eight boosters in the uh, in the brick. Daddy, you can. What did you get? Oh, you got the good one. I just got a Nosferatu. Like pip that. What did you get? Oh la la. <laughs> Number 39, the uh, Duchess de Hon. Air. <laughs> de Hon. Air. Look at that. Look at that mask she's wearing. Isn't she cool? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I still think this one's better. You like Tatiana still. I think this one's cool. Look at that mask. Yeah, I still like Tatiana. The hair at the back is very transparent. And see where it's got a bit of gold. I don't know why they've got the gold in her red peacock -y looking mask hair. The material that goes between her arms is secured to the back of her body, which is good. It keeps everything in place and holds everything. It's a smart design. I'm very happy. I like her. I want, I want to put her into my campaign, but I know where she is, and she's not got much to do with what I'm doing right now. And uh, another mother, uh, Lorinda. Oh, well, I can see the doll a little better this time around. Yeah. I see the doll better this time around. So, obviously, they're, they're very slightly, but uh, I can see the doll better. Mm. Dad, and we got another one of these headless ones. Another headless one, and you got a bag of heads? Yeah. Okay. I'll just pop that to the side because I don't want to, um, at least we have another backup one in case on the head, head, we can't find any other head, so. Well, I hope we don't have to worry about the finding um, any other could, you, could you help me, um, pop this out? I don't, want, I don't want to break it, so. I'll do spaceship. Spaceship! That's just littering in our house. <laughs> it's not spaceship. <laughs> okay, sweetie, what have we got? Uh, heads? <laughs> Yeah, heads. We got two heads. We got one, two. Heads. They all come out? We already got two. Okay. Okay, so this is our back Another one. headless with... Here you are. Thanks. Ooh, la la. A firing horse. A nice man. <laughs> Covering up. What have we got now? What is this? I can't even open it. Oh. Another big bad werewolf I got here. Pretty good. Second one of them. That's all right. Two is good. Two is... They work in pairs. What's that? It's like one that chopped off his head. So <laughs> is it the headless horseman that goes on the horse? And what's this? His riding body. I'm sure if we get the the nightmare out, as they did with the, uh, I dare say you probably can't quite remember going back to um, look at all the pieces. So he can either be headless. Oh, so anyway, yeah, the last time we saw something like this was in the oh, Nez Nezregul, Nezregard, in uh, Descent in the Avenue. So you can just have the Nightmare, as is, and you can have the Headless Horseman standing up by himself, doing his or own he thing. Or he could be sitting on here. Or you could swap out its body. You could put the ridings insert in, and then put the right the top in. Yeah, he like it's like he chopped his own head off. Mmm, was it really that hard just to print another top and just combine? Yeah, we could. Well, Daddy, we could mostly ask what it like with one of these. What do you reckon of the horse? I see one... it's see through there. He was printed in the see through material and then painted. I think they missed a bit under his neck. <laughs> but it does look good, like a firing horse. It does. The flame is nice. It's a single tone flame uh, yeah. all round. Doesn't look like it's got multi tone. It has like a good shading. Yeah, although this rider doesn't go in easily. You're going to have to. Yeah, you, you might break try. it doing that one day. It's reasonably solid. I got another nightmare up there that keeps cracking and breaking because he's got, they've got him up in re rear legs. Well, excellent. well, at least you got a new one. one so we can uh, use it. Yeah, there we go. He goes in. Yeah. Um, dual hand. So the dual hand is uh, And you should especially look after this bit. Mm, and Nightmare is 48. He's going to put the body in. Well. We got another crocodile-headed mummy. No. That's okay. We go to an Egyptian museum. We can have two Wait, Dad, did you, did you steal them? 
same ones here. I, I did, because I knew it all went together. I don't know, the, uh, the nightmare's body, Pete, insert, goes, goes to the Whoa, what's that one? Uh, ah, yes, we've heard him before. Uh, Arthur Segwick. Sedwick. Sedwick. I'm going to go grab another one of those. What's another one of those? <laughs> well, they're, sitting right, they're deliberately here, right next to me, sweetie, so I can... <laughs> Another well, this is number right. like, six number. of the second set. Go. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> That's going to be. Oh, another archer. Skeletal archer. He's not as bent over as the last one was, but he does have purple on him. Oh. On his skeletal body for no reason in there. Got a white on the back. He's a bit fold in, but well, just for another table mini. And it's good to have those because I can use them in any setting a skeleton with an archer. He's not too tied to anything. Another. It's a third. Ooh, finally. You know what? What's he in? I have no idea. Oh, wheelchair. Oh, it kind of looks like it's. Uh, Alanic Gray, number 23. Yes. It looks like he's got a cool pair of shades on. Oh, God. And eyebrows. And he's got a firearm there, so... That's pretty cool. Do, the, do you like the wheels on the chair? Yeah. It's a nice metallic blue. It's a light metallic blue. I will be excited for the I sure will be. I need one more, and we've got two boxes. Or I'm going to have to order one through... RPG Mini Hunter. Shout out to that guy. <laughs> Alright. Second last box. Okay. Box number seven. Oh, you need to give that to me. Just want to yeah, oh, I'm not going to open it. I'm just going to... Multitask. Multitask. What do you got? Oh, another bunch of loosey-goosey. Ooh, what do we got? Oh, another Delisnia. Mm. Ah. I haven't the Lesnia. I can, I can Ooh, work Daddy. into something. Ooh, what's a new one? Gallows. Waterwell Gallows Speaker. Number 19. Ooh. Oh, he's got a see through beard. His skull's a little small. He's done in a single tone with mold lines. Very. Must be the, the folds. I don't think there's any wash or anything applied. Seems sturdy enough, and uh, it's not too bad. The mold lines again. Oh, that's a shame. The uh, critical roll miniatures were uh, I got the fold, the mold lines. Them were very fine compared to some of these. Some of these are very obvious. Well, he's no, he's a welcome addition. Ah, we got another. Um, Ivana. Oh. That's right. I'm sure in a gothic or a creepy campaign. Oh, look at her arm. Her arm separate. Her arm has come out of her body. It isn't connected. The one holding the glass is just it's too low when it's stuck in the body and there's a gap between the uh, the shoulder and where the top of the bicep is. Oh. Hey, Dad. That's a shame. I'm going to have to cut that off and raise it up a bit. Um, Dad, um, this, I wonder what this bit at the bottom is. That's a bag of holding. That guy's been hiding in a bag of holding. A magical bag, and then he comes creeping out. Do you get it? So he climbs out of the bag of holding, and he climbs back in? Another bag? Uh, I'm what do you got ready. There? I'm getting it ready. Hmm. Thanks, we can both do something. Hmm. Okay, so, um... Have I'm... a look what you're doing. you got a wear rape. Looks of it. Ah, oh, another raven. Another wear raven. It's good. I can do with a couple of wear ravens. When they come, there's going to be a number of them. Okay. Hopefully, this is one of them. Mm. Dang it! What do you mean, dang it? You need one of them. I see a ghost dancer. Try not to break them. Ooh, is that someone new? That does look like someone new. Well, I can piff this ghost dancer away. 
We've looked at her. <laughs> What's this guy? Oh, he looks like a death knight. He is a death knight. Number 25. <laughs> Look at his loincloth oh, and his belt, and his skeletal broken. face. He is broken. There's nothing inside but skeleton and ghostly stuff holding this thing together. Oh, but why is there a face there then? It's a skull face. The scariness. Mm. He's not too bad. I'm a bit confused. Ooh, that one looks like a rare one. Who have you got there? It kind of looks like a farmer. A farmer, you reckon? He looks a bit like a musician. He's Harkon Lucas, number 38. He's about as bendy, bendy as any other. I like how they've got his bow behind him. Stops it from being, oh no, but it's not attached. Okay. Ooh. I'd rather it was mounted on so it gives it more support and stability. He's got a bit of green spilling onto his viol red violin. Wouldn't be too much to touch up some of these little things. It's a shame you're going to have to, but... Uh, Here's the way. Are you going up for one of these raven sort of Relentless killers? Yeah, I can All right. the way. <laughs> Alright, well we got two of the promos because we got in early and ordered our kit. What do we got? Yeah. I'll open one, you open the other? Yeah. They're both the same. My nice. Does it need you to cut it open? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sad that's going to be ending soon. Oh, I'll just spend another couple hundred dollars on <laughs> Yeah. I mean, should be a single one in there. Strachwon Zanovich. And mine looks like he's doing the lean. He's like sliding in. Been bent a bit. Yeah, like this is the same. Wear him up. Open up some of them bats. I'll put you away. Square up his legs a little. He looks like he's tiptoeing in because of the angle he's approaching on. <laughs> what? He just looks like he's sneaking in rather than coming in. Oh, Strad, what are you doing? You're the big bad. Don't don't tiptoe in. Strut. Strut in, Strad. What is going on with you there? How this one turned out? They looked they look pretty. What do you reckon of him? Have a look. I love that one because it looks like that yes, one. It's just Strad. No, no, no number. Just Strad. Sleep as you uh, couldn't get him afterwards. Uh, yeah, I'll put oh, you away. His face paint sort of molded in, into his shoulder, mm. there, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, no, he's got a little bit of colouring. He's got some dots and some wash, light washing places, it looks like him. But yeah, just because of all the cloak and all that, I guess it's so springy, it doesn't want to collapse that way. And he keeps leaning backwards like he's sneaking in. Oh. Well, how do you think we went this time, Indiana? Great. I want to do it another time. You want to do it another time? All right. We'll have to wait for the release to come out soon. That we and like. you also need to order another one. I need to order another one of these for when I run Curse of Strahd all over again. <laughs> so I will, I will, I will keep this, that in mind. This one kind of looks a bit darker than that one. Well, that's good. It's always good to have them a little bit different. I like it when you can get a little bit difference in them. All you can tell. This one actually looks a bit darker than that one. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to go a few through panning shots now. I'm going to take a look at uh, what we've got and uh, set them all up. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm Luke, and this is my daughter, Indiana. Yeah. What do you want to say to everyone, Indiana? I'm really excited that we did this. I can't wait until our next time we're going to do this. Well, there you go. Something to inspire me to go out and spend more money on miniatures. I'll tell my wife. So, thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll, we'll finalise this with a few more uh, sweeping views of the miniatures. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you again next time. Bye.